Hello, my name is Blake Patterson, and welcome to Afro Reviews. On the latest episode of the classic series, I examine the unbearable lightness of being. In 1988, Pauline Kael referred to Philip Kaufman's The Unbearable Lightness of Being as glorious. It truly is a marvel to behold. Part of the film's genius is how Kaufman turns a complicated novel into a rapturous portrait. The film exhibits the same characteristic as Kale's description for Truffaut's Jules and Jim, Fitzgeraldian. Both auteurs beautifully translate the lives of three people amid a historical event to the screen by incorporating the Warsaw Pact invasion of Czechoslovakia, Kaufman effectively blends political history with romantic complications. Primarily, the motion picture studies oppression, love, sexuality, and infidelity through a male doctor and his two lovers. On the surface, the unbearable lightness of being may sound like a phony Hollywood production, like Truffaut, Kaufman does not reduce the power of his film with rote techniques and structure. One should not expect a prototypical climax with a close-up shot of a kiss with overbearing music. Daniel Day-Lewis delivers one of his more subtle performances as a surgeon, Tomas, who cannot control his lust. Then, Juliette Binoche and Lena Olin are the two women, Teresa and Sabina, who revolve around Tomas's experience. Binoche brings heartbreaking grace to the innocent Teresa, while Olin emanates the complexities of her lonely, freewheeling existence. Kaufman's players contribute to the poignancy of the piece, and they earn a few emotionally touching moments along the way. Furthermore, Kaufman is a smarter filmmaker than his critics give him credit for because this is a tremendous work of simplicity in its making aesthetically and emotionally. The unbearable lightness of being operates like a European film in how it allows for scenes and conflicts to unfold gradually. Kaufman included Mark Adler's score like Truffaut did with Georges de la Rue's music, when he depicts the history, Kaufman will occasionally translate the film into black and white or display freeze frames from Teresa's camera. This choice of direction is a daring one, yet Kaufman establishes his adaptation as a radically bourgeois effort. Its intelligence is of a rare breed, and it is a true character piece from a commercial era with plot-driven films. For a nearly three-hour feature, the unbearable lightness of being never overstays its welcome. These characters' lives are absorbing due to the humanity Kaufman and company bring to the material. It is also one of the few films of its kind to not provoke controversy of its sex scenes. So, people wisely understand the maturity in Kaufman's approach. Unfortunately, many modern viewers regard this as a lesser effort and consider earlier Kaufman films like his remake Invasion of the Body Snatchers and The Right Stuff as his best. While those films exhibit considerable merits, this feature's intertwining of politics and lovemaking is more resonant. Like the best movies, the final images tremble beneath the skin. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great night.